so I'm not even sure where to begin with this one. We all knew that there were going to be some massive changes coming to the DCU under James Gunn, but I don't think that most people were really ready for what that truly meant. I just like many others had a suspicion that the brand new 10 year plan would involve a drastic overall and with that probably a drastic recasting as well. I've been telling people this for literally over a month now ever since Henry Cavill left The Witcher that nothing was a done deal until DC themselves made it official and now once again we are getting reports that Wonder Woman 3 is not going to happen, Aquaman 3 is not going to happen and Man of Steel 2 is also likely going to be scraped even with it maybe Henry Cavill. Now those titles are most likely going to move forward but it is going to be within a vastly different direction even with maybe a different cast. The biggest drama right now seems to be Wonder Woman so let's just focus on her for a moment. Also not everything is as black and white as you might think so just put your pitchforks down and let's just break everything down properly. I wake up in the morning sinking halfway to the bottom there's a loud distorted screaming in my soul so Patty Jenkins Wonder Woman has had quite a few ups and downs. Gal Gadot was first introduced as the superhero in Batman vs Superman before going on to star in her own two movies as well as a Justice League film. Now as for the two standalone films well it has been a little bit of a 50-50 when it comes to opinions. Most agree that the first movie was great. It hit all of the correct notes with many meaningful moments coming coming out of it including a touching sacrifice. The praise was very short lived though because most of the work that was done within the first movie was very quickly also undone by the second one. Now whether or not you liked it or you hated it there is at the end of the day only one opinion that really matters and that is the opinion of the new co-CEO of DC James Gunn. He is pretty much solely in charge of creativity although he does have a team behind him and then he also has a co-CEO who oversees more of the financial aspects of things. Now James Gunn last week made it clear after Patty Jenkins submitted a script for the third movie that as things stand right now the character of Wonder Woman cannot move forward in its current form. This was first reported by the Hollywood Reporter who said sources say that Jenkins recently submitted a treatment code written with Jeff Johns and that Gunn and Saffron as well as Warner Bros Pictures co-chairs and co-CEOs Michael DeLuca and Pamela Apti broke the news to the filmmaker telling her that the project as it stood did not fit in with the new but still unfolding plans. Jenkin directed and co-directed the previous two movies starring Gal Gadot and released in 2017 and 2020. No decision has been made about the next steps. Now there is a couple of things to read from this statement. First and foremost they are not saying that there won't be another Wonder Woman movie but they are saying that the current version of the movie is not going to work and that does kind of make sense. James Gunn has a clear plan for what he wants to do with the DCU moving forward and I do think it is understandable that he would want future movies to fit in with his plans. Although he does seem fine with some standalone movies like the Joker moving forward and also a few others as well that is already underway like maybe Shazam that has already been filmed. It makes sense that he would want to take the main Justice League hero and ensure that all of them just have one vision, one version and currently Jenkins version just doesn't form part of the vision that James Gunn has for the future. It seems like he does not want to cancel cancel Wonder Woman he just has other plans for her, plans that Patty Jenkins does not seem to like very much. I'm dying inside and all I see are demons. 
Patty Jenkins has a reputation within Hollywood and it is not a very good one. She is known for being notoriously stubborn when it comes to her visions and she just refuses to compromise at all. In 2011, Jenkins was linked to For the Dark World and was hired to direct the movie. She wrote the script and pitched her ideas and after the studio told her that they did not like it and that some changes were needed to be made, she refused to make any changes and just left the project only two months in. She was one once again hired by Disney and this time it was to direct Star Wars. She came with a script and a vision for Star Wars Rogue Squadron and after the studio asked her to compromise on the vision and make a few changes, she once again refused and then also just decided to quit altogether. Now maybe she was in the right and maybe she was in the wrong, I honestly do not know, maybe her changes would have been for the better, but at the end of the day, one one thing is clear and that is the fact that it's either her way or no way and with Wonder Woman we are now getting some reports that Jenkins is against the idea of allowing Gunn and Saffron any say about her version of the film. Regardless Jenkins was still invited to come up with other pictures for the studio, however she refused and just left the project altogether. Now once again that is just showing her unwillingness to compromise in any way. Furthermore, according to one of the rap sources, the monster director declined to reconfigure her pitch and wanted the Luca and Apti to know that they were wrong, that they didn't understand her, didn't understand the character and didn't understand the character arcs and didn't understand what Jenkins was trying to do. She reportedly sent the Luca an email that included a link to a Wikipedia page for the character arc and was also uninterested in in having future conversations with Gunn and Saffron. So pretty much just throwing a tantrum and saying that I want it my way and my way only. Now right now it does seem that Gunn is hoping that Gal Gadot can return as Wonder Woman and he also wants another movie, he just doesn't like the current version as it stands. I think there's something wrong with me cause all I see is death. Every time I go outside I look like I've been doing math. Going forward, it is going to be interesting to see exactly what is going to happen here. I don't know if Gal Gadot would want to return to the DCU if Patty Jenkins is not going to be part of the directing crew and with it they will most likely have to reboot her. If they do though, it's also going to be interesting to see what they are going to do with the rest of the actors as well. At this point, even though there seems to be plenty of projects that James Gunn is not not going to touch. For the Justice League, people are just gonna have to get used to the idea that there is most likely going to be a new vision and with the old DCU, we need to accept that that is just going to be dead. This means that there are going to be new actors, new movies and plenty of reboots all trying to tie together within the next 10 years making one vision come to life.